Oh, okay. All right. So um, we're gonna we're gonna actually be on the floor for this um, this half an hour. If you do not like getting down to the floor, you can do the first part of it seated if you wanted to try that, or you can adjust your your camera to being on the floor. So we're going to start sitting. So you can just do this first part sitting, and I'll try to give you some options. We're going to explore a lot of um, hip work, which will help alleviate lower back um, tightness, kind of bring more mobility to it. So we'll just start checking in with our mindful breathing. If you are not used to this, you could also do a belly breath. It just kind of helps to focus your mind. So sitting comfortably, you can take your hand on your belly, and bring your gaze down or close your eyes. As you breathe in through your nose, very gently press your belly towards your hand. That drops the diaphragm down into the belly, into the abdominal cavity. And then as you exhale, it pulls away from your hand your diaphragm pulls up into the rib cage. So just focus on this breathing. This just brings us to calm our mind, to bring it to be present and aware of how our body feels, moves, works. Take some quiet breath there. Just noticing where you are this morning. Is it easy to do this today, Friday, you relax? Or are you um, wanting to move? And there's nothing wrong with either, either one. It's just taking a, a practice just to notice. So see how it feels in your back or wherever to gently shift your ribs so that they're over your hips and maybe not forward. And then lengthen from the tailbone to the crown of the head on your inhale. And then on our exhale, we're gonna tuck our chin in all the way as far as you can so that it's kind of moving in towards midline, the back of your head's moving to the back of the room. And then down and breathe into the back of that neck. Just notice how the stretch feels different as you're breathing. Maybe the inhale is creating more space, more of a stretch there, and the exhale is releasing. We're starting with some neck stretches. We'll gently move our chin over to our right shoulder. Take a nice slow breath in, and as you exhale, let your left shoulder blade melt down your back. And then gently bring it around back to the center and we'll try that left side. Inhale, as you exhale, think of the right shoulder blade melting down your back. Noticing if one side's a little different than the other. And then bringing it back to center. Inhale, as you exhale, keeping our chin in, bring our head back on top of our spine and bring your right ear to your right shoulder. So your nose and chin are facing forward, getting a nice stretch through that left side. Start to extend the arm out at an angle. So there's like a diagonal line from the crown of the head to the palm. And then gently draw the elbow away from your rotator cuff. So you're getting all the way into the shoulder plexus down through the hand. Draw the hand so it's kind of reaching up towards, the fingertips are reaching towards your shoulder. Spread your fingers wide, it's a nice stretch. And then see how it feels to gently rotate the hand to the back of the room, bend your elbow and slide it gently across your back. Very gentle right here, trying to get the movement more in the shoulder blade. And then with the chin tucked in, you're gonna gently rotate your head up towards the left corner of the room. Nice slow breaths. Notice how everything feels. And then release your left, right shoulder back to you, or right here, back to your right shoulder. And then coming gently out of that, take a moment here and just breathe. 
Notice the left side. Does any, has anything shifted for you? And again, it's okay if it hasn't. We're just practicing noticing. We'll bring our right left ear to our left shoulder on our exhale. And then gently extend the arm out to deepen that stretch. Spread the fingers wide. Reach your fingers towards your shoulder so it's extension of your wrists. So the arm's still kind of down at an angle and you're just flex or extending the wrist. And then we'll rotate the arms. That's internal rotation here. So make sure that feels okay. And that rotator cuff. Gently bend your elbow and see how it feels to slide it across. Noticing how your back's feeling if you need to shift around a little bit. Keeping the chin in, we'll gently point our nose and chin up towards the ceiling. And then bringing our ear back to our left shoulder. Gently release that and just notice how that feels. So I just wanted to bring some neck stretches into it because we hadn't done those for a while. So let's start to move into the spine, the ribs, the hips. So reach those arms up, feel your ribs kind of move away from your hips. You can walk them up as if you want. Lower your right hand down and then reach it up and over to the right. And we're gonna stay here. I want you to become aware of your bottom left rib. You're gonna bend your elbow and let your head rest in your hand. There's no pulling on the head here. And then take your left elbow and draw it back. And can you feel the bottom of your left rib open up? How does that feel? Let your head relax. Again, no pulling on the head. We're gonna gently take our elbow forward. Feel your bottom left rib kind of pull in and breathe into the back side of that bottom left rib. So back here. So we're just gonna kind of explore our ribs and then our hips in all different positions. And then come back to the center and really take a moment, notice. Breath in, breath out, slowing down. Reach the arms up. Really reach, reach, reach. Notice that when you have your arms over your head, you're extending your spine, creating a lot of strength there. And then exhale, let that left hand rest down onto your mat. Reach your right arm up and over. Breathe and notice your bottom right rib cage. And then gently. Bend your elbow, let your hand come behind your head, let your head rest into your hand and take your right elbow and draw it back just a little bit. So what you're doing is you're drawing that shoulder blade into your back and notice the bottom ribs, that shoulder blade's moving your ribs, opening. So this is a lot of core muscles that we're in, getting into and, and noticing if you're different on different sides. So with this left shoulder relaxed, not pulling on your head with the right arm. You're gonna gently take that right elbow forward and feel your bottom right ribs kind of pull in and see how that feels. Breathe into the back ribs. And gently draw that elbow back to the center and come out of that. Take a moment and breathe. So let's release our legs and shake them out. Wiggle those toes a little bit, kind of wake up those legs. Spread those toes wide. And then draw, so your feet are hip distance width apart. And then just point your toes gently so you can feel a little stretch. We'll um, plantar flexion, and then rotate the toes towards each other. And just notice if your knees moved. It's okay if you did. And then rotate them away from each other. And now flex your toes up towards you. And then draw them back to center. We're gonna do that one more time. Try not to move the knees. Gently point your toes, rotate them towards each other. 
just kind of straighten it out. You can take your hands behind you if you need to do that. And then rotate them away from each other, trying not to move the knees. And then bring them up, spread them wide. And then we're gonna take our feet on our mat and this will help alleviate back. Whenever your legs are straight seated like that, if you have tight hamstrings, that's a little, a little harder for your back. So yes, I like sitting up on a pillow will help with a back issues too. So here we are just going to um, bring our knees out a little bit and just kind of hammock them with your arms and sway side to side. You're just kind of swaying over your hip bones, checking in with one hip's a little different than the other. Yeah, you're just cradling your knees and exploring one side versus the other. And we'll gently let our right leg drop down, see how that feels. Gently take your chest and move forward. If you feel this anywhere in the low back, we'll explore the other hip and then we'll do this at the same, both of them at the same time. So we'll bring our right leg back in and do the same thing left, left side. So gently let the left leg drop down. Notice if there's a difference. Mine's a lot tighter on the left side um, due to a small little tear, due to uneven hips, just a lot of stuff going on. And then reach your chest forward but our bodies are amazing. We adjust, especially if you have an open mindset and you know think that your body can heal itself and move and be flexible and strong. So noticing here if one side's a very little different. And then come all the way up, cradle that left knee, and then reach your chest up towards the ceiling and gently reach it between the legs and see how that feels in your low back. So this is a little symmetry, creating a little, and notice your tailbone's kind of tilted back. We kind of rolled over our hips. We do that a lot standing, but I just kind of wanted to explore some stuff sitting here. And then we do this one a lot, Baddha Konasana. So we'll bring the soles of the feet together. And then again, start to sway side to side. Notice the difference. With the knees up, I feel it more like in my, in my back. And with the knees down, I feel it more in the hips. So even those small movements. And then we'll lengthen through the chest, press both knees down and reach your chest forward. And breathe into this. I'm just kind of holding on to the ankles, soles of the feet are pressed together. And then we'll gently restack all the way up. So bring your knees together. We've done this together, we've done this before. And we're just gonna do that swaying the knees side to side. And notice the movement in the ribs when the hips start to move side to side. This is a nice, noticing if one side's a little bit harder to do than the other. And then we'll sway over to the right and then come off of your, we'll take your, uh, actually before you do that, see if you can walk your left foot back a little bit towards your hip so that your left hip is starting to extend. And then reach, you're going to balance on that right shoulder. So be careful um, of your rotator cuff but think more, oh, not my rotator cuff, like think more strength into the shoulder blade, like developing strength. That's what I was talking about, mindset. So reach your left arm up and just kind of stretch it out, noticing the ribs kind of opening up here, that left rib popping out as you draw your shoulder blade back. And then we're gonna pull that left rib in as our left hand reaches for our right leg and then just kind of sink back into it. And moving our ribs around. And 
head into the body. Press into your right hand into the floor. So you're breathing into the back side of those ribs. Notice this. And then we'll come back to the center and come over to the other side. So both hands behind. Walk your left foot in. Center yourself and then sway your knees to the left. See if you can walk your left, your right foot back. And then press into both hands, open up that chest, and then balance onto your left shoulder blade. Reach your right arm forward and up, and just open up that whole right side. So it's kind of like a back bend. Feel the ribs open up. Feel how this is in your body on this side. And then we're going to pull that bottom right rib cage in as we kind of start to round our back. Our right hand reaches for the left knee. And just kind of hold on and keep rounding, breathing into that right back side. We'll come back to the center. So we're going to do a cat cow. So hold on to your knees and the cat cow, I'll turn sideways. So you're going to hold on to your knees, tuck your tailbone under, pull the belly in, tuck the chin in, and you're kind of pulling here on your uh, into um, the shoulder blades, the shoulders, the thoracic spine, the middle part of your back where your ribs are. And then you're rounding through the lower back. See how that feels. We will come up into tabletop and load our shoulders a little differently. And then inhale, go the opposite way. So you're going to roll over your sits bones, point your tailbone back, lift your chest up, draw your shoulders together and down, and pull on those knees. So you're pulling this way. Your head will naturally look up. And just notice what feels good in your back there. We'll do the same thing on tabletop. But before we go to tabletop, um, let's do this. I was doing this before class and it just felt really good. Go into a wide straddle. And if you know, remember when we do wide straddle standing, we kind of sway from hip to hip. So try that. So it's basically to do that, we have to sway our ribs and just feel your the movement of your body shifting from one sits bone or one hip or really your ischial tuberosity and then to the other one and just kind of see if there's anything going on in the core muscles, the hip, and just explore that a little bit. In your mind, focused and aware, and then we'll bring it back to the center. And then we're just going to roll forward and back. So you just kind of roll back into, you know, um, it's kind of like a cow, cat spine, tucking the tailbone under. And then you're going to roll over the sits bones and tilt the tailbone back into like a cow spine. And just we'll be in tabletop doing this um, pelvic tilt, not with the legs wide, but see how that feels. So if you've been sitting in a couch doing this, which you can do, your legs would just be below your hips. You'll, for tabletop, you'll bring your hands to the arm rest of the couch so that you can load your shoulders. So for us on the floor, bring yourself into tabletop. Now we're loading our shoulders and um, let's do our cat cow. So point your tailbone down, pull your belly in, Press into the mat, tuck your chin in and look at your belly. See how that feels. Let's bring our feet so that they're flat um, to the mat. And then inhale, tilt your tailbone up, bring your chest forward and reach forward. So it's a, a different feeling maybe as your hands are underneath and you're loading your shoulders, your spine, your core, working core. And then from here, we're going to bring it back to a neutral position, create length in your tailbone and, and the crown of your head, and then very gently press your ribs to the right and just feel that. And so your shoulders are moving differently on your spine. 
And then we'll come back to the center, press your ribs to the left. So it looks kind of like this if you're one moving, but hopefully you're just so into this that you're just practicing. And then we're gently come off our hands, go into, a, it, we'll come into child's pose, we're gonna come into it two different ways. This time let's go into a cat spine. So tuck your tailbone under, press up, flexion, keep that and sit back into the heels. Notice how that feels for you. Keep your hands where they are so you can get a nice stretch through your back. Keeping, but the spine will shift a little bit because you're bringing your arms overhead, but we're trying to kind of keep it in a cat spine. And then it's this kind of depends on how your hips are bit, built. You'll come back up into your tabletop and then go into a cow spine. So you'll tilt the tailbone up, it's just spinal extension, reach the chest forward and sit back into your child's pose into your heels. If you feel like you can keep going further, let the knees come apart so that the ribs can still keep sinking down further. Take a few breaths here. And then we're gonna come back up into the tabletop. So if you're in a couch, you'll just come laying down onto your belly. Um, and we'll try to do this the best, the best way you can. So you'll just come down onto the belly. And so for those of us on the floor, well, all of us, you're just gonna stack your hands and take your forehead to your hands. And hopefully I can cue this really well so you don't have to look up and listen. So just really try to be hone in on um, how this feels in your hips and low back. So before we get started, we're just going to um, flatten our toes down so that you're on the top of your toenails. And just like we did when we were sitting, swing your toes towards each other and just see how that feels. Can you feel anything in your back? And then swing them away from each other. And then release that. We're gonna do the same thing with the, the legs. So bend your right knee and just sway your foot all the way to the left. So that's your femur bone is doing external rotation. Your right knee is pointing towards the right and you're just gonna sway back and forth. So started with the ankle joint. Now we're doing a little bit knee and hip here. And let's explore that one more time. So I know if you're on the couch, this might be hard to do. So you could probably turn around you need to get up and turn around, so I apologize for that. <laughs> so notice how that was, um, how that felt in that right hip, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the left hip. Bend your left knee and just sway that foot all the way over to the right so that left knee is externally rotating. Notice if there's a difference in the range of motion, and then sway it all the way to the left. Back and forth. And then gently lower that foot down. And we're gonna keep our legs straight. Before we go into um, half frog, we're gonna explore just how our back feels when we do a gentle leg lift. So you're gonna create space in your right hip by reaching your right toes towards the end of your mat if you're on your mat or just away from your right hip if you're not on a mat and then from here just float your right leg off of the floor but make sure your knee doesn't bend and just hover it and just see where do you feel that in your hip in your back along your core and then as you exhale you'll gently release that down and do the same thing on that left side to create that space Float that leg and just see how that feels on the left side. And then lower that leg down. So we're gonna bend our right knee again, cross it over to the left, and then gently slide your knee up towards your shoulder. Take a few breaths here, see where you feel this. So 
and then gently slide your right knee back underneath your right hip. We'll do the same thing left side. Notice that there's a difference. We'll bend our left knee, swing it over to the right so your thigh is in external rotation. Slide your left hip up towards your left shoulder and breathe. Notice if there's a difference. Also notice that how it feels in your ribs as you're breathing. Now that you're laying on top of the front ribs, can you get some mobility in the back ribs? And then gently slide your left leg back underneath your left hip. And we're just going to roll over onto our back. And then we're going to bring our right knee in, left leg out straight. Take that right leg over to the right. So kind of like half moon, half moon, half frog, which we just did. But now we're on our back. Notice if there's a difference here. And then um, go ahead and do a little rotation. We're going to take our right knee and bring it all the way over to the left heel, right arm out. Notice your positioning of your right ribs. With your exhale, can you let the ribs sink down towards your mat? So you're getting more of a rotation. So you're trying to get your ribs to lay flat and your hips to stack. Notice how that side felt. And then we'll release that. Take both feet on the mat and then take your left knee in. And slide your right leg straight and then bring your left knee out to the side like half block. So just laying supine on your belly and on your back, even positioning your legs in the same position. It's a very different feel. And then we'll bring our right, left knee in and send it over to the right. So take your right hand on the knee. And just send it over nice and easy, slow breathing. And with your exhale, can you let your ribs melt further down into the mat? And then you're roll back onto your back. Both feet together or on the mat. We're going to go into a little hip extension, a little bridge. So from here, you're going to draw the shoulder blades down. That's retraction. That's going to open up the ribs. And then keep with that, press into your feet and start to lift your hips. So this is more of a yogi bridge. We're not doing the tailbone tuck. We're letting the arch happen. So inversion is kind of the point of this one, bringing the head below the heart. We haven't done that because we weren't standing. So we didn't do any bit like or pull. So the head is above the heart. You might feel a stretch in the back of the neck. Keeping your chin in, definitely not looking at me on these bridges. And then really be mindful here. When you come down, Feel the weight, the pressure along the shoulder blades as you roll down the shoulder blades. And then when does the ribs hit? And feel that into the ribs, to the middle back, into the low back. And then bring the soles of your feet together, knees out wide. Take one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And we'll just end here with our breath work, checking back in. Noticing the ribs feel lighter or more, more, more mobile, how the breathing feels, if that's changed at all. Just practicing becoming aware of our energy, our bodies. The more aware you are of something, the more you can change that. So being open. Whenever you're ready, we'll just bring our knees together. Gently roll over onto your side and press up into a seated position, or you can stay there. Just try to keep that calmness within. You all have a great weekend.
can do other stretches if you want. Bye. <laughs> Take care.